as vice president. And then council member Young. I see President. President. Thanks so much. All right, I'm gonna make the motion. Pursuant to the governor to Governor Lee's executive order number 16 regarding electronic meetings is extended by executive order number 34. I make a motion that this committee meeting agenda constitutes essential business of the Metropolitan Council and that meeting electronically is necessary to protect the health, safety, and welfare of Tennesseans in light of the COVID-19 outbreak. Do I have a second? All right, Second. all in favor, you say aye. 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 Thank you so much. All right, that motion is passed. So the only bill we have on the agenda is second substitute BL 2019-48 is Rosenberg, Young, and others amend section 17.16.250 of Title 17 of the Metro Code of Laws relative to home occupation. I'm going to recognize Council Member Rosenberg for an explanation. Councilman Rosenberg. Oh, excuse me, I'll make the motion to get it for us. There a second? Second. Okay, great, thank you. All right, Councilman Rosenberg, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chair. This bill has an amendment, um, but for those of you who missed the early show, um, this bill uh, has substituted, uh, reduces the enforcement burden on codes by allowing them to focus on bad actors. Uh, it tightens regulations that exist on existing businesses uh, for noise, um, commercial deliveries, on the types of uses, and on the requirements to preserve the residential nature of a property. It adds requirements that it complies with HOA bylaws, condominium covenants, uh, and the like. It allows a limited number of clients to visit the home business by appointment only during specific hours, and it adds the ways in which enforcement can take place by permitting photographic and video evidence. Um, separately, the amendment that was in the amendment packet um, adds a series of protections to prevent any person or entity from operating more than one business out of a home in Davidson County. It also tightens up the uses that are allowed under, under the current code. You can do anything besides auto repair, and this creates some prohibitions on uh, businesses and also specifically talks about what kind of businesses would be allowed to have clients, and that's it. Great. So let's, before we do anything else, can I get a motion and a second on the amendment, Councilman Rosenberg, just to explain? So moved. Great. I'll second. All right. Uh, any discussion on that amendment? All right. I'm looking for hands. I see no hands. All right. Here's what we're going to do. For on the amendment, we're going to vote on the amendment right now. If you are, if you are opposed to the amendment, Please put your hand up, otherwise you will be counted as voting in favor. Looking, see no hands. All right, amendment goes on. That's the set, that's the amendment. Now, we are amended on the bill. Before we go any further, several of you were just in the planning committee where this bill got a hearing on other proposed amendments from council members Druckel and Johnston. And Councilmember Johnson had a substitute proposed. Um, and the outcome in that committee was that everyone promised to hold hands and work together and then re and re refer this bill back to basically all committees on third. We are running 30 minutes behind right now. So I am going to make a motion that we do the same, that we second this bill on second as amended uh, and re refer this bill to the codes committee. Anybody have a discussion on that motion? Symbiotic it is. Uh, seeing no objections, I'm gonna do the same thing. If you are voting no on the recommendation of second substitute BL 2019-48 as amended um, to be recommended on second reading and then re-referred to the codes committee. If you are against that motion, please use your hand button. If not, you will be counted as voting aye. All right, I see no hands, so eight in favor, zero against. That will be the recommendation to the body tonight. That concludes the agenda of the Coach Fair and Farmers Market Committee. Thank you all for attending. I think we're gonna roll, I believe, right into budget. Thank you, Chair. Thank you all.